small, medium, and big. Big, small-minded, medium-minded, and big-minded. Or we have, you can use the very initial word. What's it called? S N L. You know the right word. <laughs> When we got the TJ Maxx <laughs> and, and the Walmart and uh, all those places, uh, the, what you find? S M L. <laughs> so this, this is the three, three things. Small. S means small. Then small means something that very limited attitude, limited intention. And that means when we practice, practice, if we start thinking, oh, I'm going to do this for myself. I'm going to make myself happy for that. It feels quite good. It makes me happy. And therefore, I'm doing this practice. Kind of thinking of that, which is wonderful, which is good. But according to Buddha teaching, that is named as initial S. That is S. <laughs> S practice. S practice. F and with that attitude, or not just only my this self, only this lifetime, but I believe also next life. Therefore, I like to be kind of a little bit better. I like to be kind of become stronger, even better. Not just only this next life, not just only that. Even I like to like leave this <coughs> samsara, this difficult behind me. I just bother me too much. If it's like true, the Buddha teaching said the rebirth and all those things. I don't really like that to be reborn again and again and all these things. I like to leave behind everything and go somewhere, isolated places. And we had that attitude and thinking, start thinking practices. That is initial as M. M initial. M initial practices. And now, with those thought, with kind of this beautiful thought is helping, supporting, is good, understand the meaning of that, not just myself, not just only thinking for the next future, what I will be, but I like to release, remove everyone's suffering, the difficulty to all living beings. And everyone, in fact, I like to bring to the enlightened state, including myself. And having that big vision, big goal, big vastness thought, and begin to practice and meditate and develop the body each other. <coughs> What is that? That initial is L. L practices. L practice. That. So therefore, for the Mahayana practitioners, as we are already on a practitioners, we should develop re I mean, it's not something that we don't have. You already have. We already have that. But we should always glorify that. Think that I'm going to bring everyone happy, everyone joy, everyone peace, and remove their suffering, the difficulty, not just the Suffering is difficult, but cause of that, which make the co makes suffering, which makes difficulty, which makes it trouble, that cause of worry I like to remove, I like to clean. Really, I'm going to answer that. And then myself thing. Thinking of that and practice is known as then the bodhicitta practices. Vastness bodhicitta. Those are in the teaching, you call Chivo Chungo in a Tibet. Chivo Chungo, Chivo Mrei, Chivo. Chimbo. That means the small person, I mean, if a translator can't really directly from the Tibet, as in say, say, teaching said, the small person, medium person, big person, big person practices. And the small is small minded, small kind of like, it's not just a small mind in one way, it's good, but it's thinking just very localized, very personal, kind of localized thinking and doing the practices. And one second is a little larger, a little bigger, bigger, and I'm still thinking kind of one's own self there. And a big person is then thinking of every living place. Their hearts are big as the skies. Wisdom's bigger and brighter as the brilliant suns. And then courage and commitments are stronger than Vajra uh, mountains, or make Vajra uh, mountain of the mountain Sumerus, and moving forward with that steadfast thought and thinking of the beautiful goal, vision, moving forward. That is known as the bodhicitta practice, as you all, we all know that, we discussed. And with that attitude and keeping that in the heart and beautifully, and that is known as the, the first novel, the beginning novel, as his only the music.
See, that is Wigan Noble. With this noble practice, with that, with that thought, and then we begin to meditate. Ready? 